Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from exurautomation.com and welcome to my course Advanced Automation Testing of Modern Application with C# .net. And in this course we will be learning a lot more modern approach of testing an application using modern testing tools and techniques available in the market. So in this course we will learn a lot more detail starting with a very very super popular testing tool Selenium and then we will start building the scenarios and test cases on the top of it using XUnit and Auto Fixture. So XUnit is a popular testing library which is going to be used in this whole course and we'll be using Auto Fixture as the automatic data generator to inject the data on the top of it. And during this period we'll also be talking about working with page object models, extension methods and how we can handle the application elements, tables and stuffs a lot more detail in a more modern approach. We'll also be asserting the application using Fluent assertions and making our testing more reliable. And once the code is almost ready, we'll then talk about working with dependency injection and making a foundational framework with all the discussions that we would have made until that point. We will also then talk about adding the support for spec flow, extending the code with custom configurations and adding the support for database testing with entity frameworks and adding Docker support to our code which can be then containerized and run along with the application under test. And in this whole course we are going to be testing an application which is going to be running inside a Docker container and it will be quite interesting and in fact challenging to access an application which is going to be running inside a Docker container and running the test along with the application container will be even more interesting. And then we'll further extend this course by adding the support of running the test as an remote test with multiple different browsers using the support of Selenium Grid and Dockerized Selenium Grid along with some cool video option as well as reporting options which are quite popular among community. And finally the last section we'll be discussing in this course is going to be adding the support of integration test, service isolation testing and running the whole test inside the Docker container. And as you can see this whole course itself is designed in such a way that you could get the best of the breed modern approach to test the application and because there are so many different modern approaches available to test an application using these toolings and many of the tools as you can see over here are quite new I ended up creating a lot of crash courses along with this course itself so that you can understand the whole course much better. You don't really have to hunt around the internet to learn about some of the texts like SpecFlow, XUnit, Auto Fixture, and even developing an application using ASP.NET Core Web API or Web App. All those details are already available as a part of this course. So the overall experience of learning this whole course will give you a complete idea and picture of how to automate an application in a much better fashion. Well as that said, we are going to be learning a lot more detail in this course with latest toolings and techniques which will help us to do a better automation testing with modern applications and approaches. At the end of this course, we will have our solution look something like this. And as you can see, within our solution, we will have EA integration test, EA test BDD, EA test framework, EA test project. So these are the test related projects within the applications solution itself, which is nothing but the EA web app as well as the product API. So these are the two applications we will be developing in the crash course and that's the same application we are going to be automating in all these different fashions. So the EA test project is the one which is going to be responsible for doing the testing using XUnit, Selenium, Fluent Assertions which is going to be more like a traditional automation and if we wanted to do something like a BDD based test then the EA BDD project is the one which is responsible for doing the exact same thing along with more features like reportings. And there is this EA test framework which is responsible for all these different test projects that you are seeing over here and finally we'll also have an EA integration test which is the one we are going to be talking about the power of integration test to run tests in isolation meaning you don't really have to have any ceremonies of your application set up like an infrastructure to be in place the tests are going to be running super fast as opposed to the UI testing it is going to be at least 50 to 100 times faster than the UI testing because the nature of tests that we are going to be doing in integration testing is much much higher so we are going to be covering all these things in this particular course so let's see a quick demo of how the application is going to look like while we try running them this whole test is designed in such a way that the whole application along with the test is going to be running within inside the docker container. So you can see that I have my docker desktop for windows is up and running where you can see that the EA test API integration as well as 
the Selenium Hub and Node along with the application SQL Server is all running as in Docker containers. And while I do the Docker Compose of up, every single services which are defined within the Docker Compose file is going to be start running up as an container because these are the images that you are seeing over here. So let me try running them. And once I start running it, you will see that the Selenium grid setup is going to be starting to up and running. And similarly, the application is going to start up and running as well. So you can see that one by one, the whole services are coming to life and the application should be started to run by this time. And similarly, the Selenium grid setup would be started as well. And they are going to be running the UI testing with the Selenium ephemeral Docker dynamic grid. And you can see there is a session running over here and there is going to be an integration testing as well up and running. I think it's already exited because the test is super fast. It only runs for like 56 milliseconds. And the UI testing is the one which is going to take enough time to execute on the Docker container, but they will be running quite faster as well. And you can see all the test executions log while they are going to be executing behind the scene within the Docker container. And you can see that the test has got passed while the tests are actually running in different browsers as well as in different setups which is defined within the test itself. So that's how the test execution actually happens within our framework. At the end of the course, you will actually be using this exact code and you will learn how to make an awesome ephemeral container based test execution in a more modern way using the modern application tech stack that we'll be discussing in this whole course.